Okay, we're back with another art vlog. Holy crap, guys. Okay, today I'm wearing my Keith Haring shirt for good luck. Um, so many ideas, so much has happened. <laughs> so, uh, where we left off last, I, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, my Freddie Mercury painting for Jason. Let's just start off with this. It's done. It still needs to be sealed like with a gloss spray and I have a couple touch-ups to do, but for the most part, I think it's done. I worked so hard on the mustache and the lips and the teeth and I don't I just stared at it for so long trying to get it right. It's done. And it blends into my shirt. Um let me know if you like it, please. <laughs> out. I've actually been commissioned by one of my mom's co-workers to paint a peacock. And that feels a little out of my comfort zone, so maybe we can try doing that together. I have to thank Randall and Scott once again for purchasing a couple of things off of our wish list, my wish list. Um, Scott actually got Alex some guitar picks and Alex plays guitar uh, so that comes in really handy because I believe he only had one left and if that would have been lost he would have been using his fingers or god knows what so thank you. Also massive massive thank you to Randall for sending over these really fine print markers. Uh, I want to dive into pointillism on like a thicker cardstock. Uh, so maybe we can try doing something like that. I feel like that could be fun to explore. I remember doing that through art class in high school. Uh, this could be fun. Okay, so a little while ago, I have to also thank Randall for new cutting mats because a little, a little while ago, Jason sent me this one, but I have turned it into a painting mat and when I cut things on it now, it just, like, things just get remnants of paint on them. So that will stay my designated painting mat, and these will stay my designated cutting mats. And I even used the backside of this one for clay, so I can't use it for anything else but clay anymore because it has clay residue on it. So huge thank you. This comes in so handy, and yes, I did uh, redo the wish list with more metallic paints as you asked Randall. <laughs> so let's talk about a few more things before doing stuff. Uh, bookmarks. You guys saw that Randall sent a laminator and let's just start off with these were the bookmarks that I was making. They were really thin, kind of flimsy. I was just using like packing tape to make these and it took me forever to just do a few. Last night, I sat down and within like 45 minutes, I had made close to 30 bookmarks and they look so professional now. They're so much more heavy duty. They're double sided. Oh my gosh. These, I have absolutely, like, I'm obsessed with making these. It comes in so handy. I have uh, been able to already use these as like free promotion. My mom has brought them to work with her. That's how I got a uh, ask to for a commission. I brought them to my work. I left them out. I will leave a photo. I took a photo. Um, yeah, this has like changed the game for these. So if you guys get a bookmark, know that they are made with lots of excitement and lots of love. Okay, by the time you guys see this, uh, the website should be uploaded or updated with uh, some more metallic paintings that I did that you guys saw in the last video, but Ashley got kind of adventurous and I kind of knew that this was on its way out and if you guys know what this is, this is wall filler like spackling. I painted with it and I'm not sure both Alex and I are not sure how we feel. I think it's really cool, but it is very impractical. Let me show you what I did. So I ended up mixing acrylic paint with the spackling. You can see here on my tray, I mixed it uh, with a palette knife and 
I painted flowers with spathling. The f color is very bad here, but I guess it's fine. Uh, and it is very 3D. It is kind of heavy. Uh, I just needed some different inspiration. I don't know. This it was just really cool and like kind of a fun exercise. Uh, so if you are interested in this, let me know we'll find a way to ship it like you can see all the texture that's on it I'm obsessed with that I actually I don't know if I'll do it in this vlog or the next vlog I'm sorry if the lighting just keeps down it is like very bright in here we're trying um, I don't know if we'll do it in this vlog or the next vlog but I have a bunch of videos saved of art like not hacks but things to do I guess to like get inspired to do art um, and one of them since I love texture is to like mix sugar baking soda things like that in with the paint to get more texture with the paint so we'll see about that but today okay first I have to show you I laminated the paper weave remember I showed you guys this paper weave that uh, I made out of the old bookmark scraps Whoever gets this in your order, one of you is going to get it in your order. <laughs> um, anyways, we are going to do a bit of a sale on the website. And this, I had this idea because I, in case some of you are unsure about maybe what we do, what we're about, um, maybe you guys have had your eye on something and you just kind of want to see, you know, what our website is. Um, we're going to do a four by six sale and we're going to create the pieces here together. Um, I'm unsure if I want to do six or eight four by six canvases yet, but we're going to do just dips like uh, very cool dip paintings uh, you guys will see those um, the way that I like to just kind of like you guys saw in the last video but we're gonna do them some with acrylics some with metallics um, and we're gonna do a four by six sale so the sale is going to be instead of the four by sixes being seven dollars we're going to do them for five and for shipping we're going to do shipping per order and lower the shipping drastically to about 250 so if you want more than one the shipping will be based on per item uh instead of per order sorry so just to try and make things a little bit more affordable in case you've been eyeing something in case you just want to see what's up or if you just want a cheap piece of art so um that's just gonna be a little bit of a flash sale they'll they'll stay up until they're gone but i just want to give you guys the heads up that those we're gonna be making those and listing those on the website so um also i picked this up at the dollar tree today look at this little caddy and these were a pack of three for like so convenient for the desk also you guys have probably i should address speaking of desk we've moved areas <laughs> Um, you guys will probably notice that this is where I film my main channel videos and we're gonna have to do something about that but I was running out of space on the on the other end of the room because it was more by the front door uh, and honestly it was a bit of a fire hazard the way I had it set up so I'm tucked away in this corner where I usually film main channel videos we'll figure we'll address that later um, I got both desks set up now, so I'm feeling pretty good about the space that I'm in to create art. I just have to clean. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna get tidied up and then we will make some dip art for the $5 sale. Okay, so I already made a few of the four by sixes for the $5 sale, but I'm going to work on two. Uh, as you can see here, I have rainbow colors picked out. 
we're gonna do a couple of four by six rainbow canvases, but instead of red, I picked pink. I thought that would be cute. I also picked um, the metallic pearl white, uh, just to kind of add a little bit of sparkle maybe. So let's just kind of map this out and then we will regroup in a little bit. Just for transparency's sake, let me show you my workspace right now and what I'm working with because I'm stressed. Oh yeah, you know what, seeing it through the camera, that's embarrassing. Anyways, I just wanna wrap some stuff up. Uh, I wanna show you the paintings that we're going, well some of the paintings that we're going to be listing for the $5 sale. The store has been updated. Uh, I have made so many bookmarks, it's unreal. So I want to tidy all this up. I want to try one of the Pinterest videos that I said I had saved to kind of try with you guys. Um, and then I kind of want to show you how I've been making the bookmarks since I, I showed you a couple vlogs back uh, how long it took me and how little I was making. And I think I've made over a hundred. So. We'll, we'll wrap up. I just gotta, I gotta deal with this mess. Oh my gosh, everything looks like such a mess. Just disregard all of this. I have turned this Green Day shirt into a painting shirt. Every shirt is a painting shirt now. Uh, the lighting is so bad. Okay, whatever. Um, <coughs> yeah, that was impressive. I'm keeping that in. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the $5 sale. You guys, if you guys have ordered from us, um, you know that we have four by sixes and normally we sell the uh, abstract, I forgot the word abstract ones for $7. So this is a $5 sale instead of $7. And with shipping, it ends up being the $7. Um, so you're not paying the extra whatever it is on top of that. So I'm just gonna show you a couple because I had a happy accident on accident. <laughs> okay, so here's some purple ones that we did. They so cool, love how they turned out. But as you probably saw uh, in the time lapse, the way that I was picking them up was with a pair of tweezers and I accidentally dropped one of the purple ones into my rainbow uh, 4x6s, but I feel like it happened in a way where it landed on the purple anyways and it ended up being kind of a happy accident. Okay, my camera died earlier. It's a little bit later. Let me just adjust the brightness once again. Okay, it is much later. Camera died. We had dinner back. Um, so I don't even know what I said earlier, but the store has been updated for the most part. Uh, and now we are going to be trying a, we're just gonna ignore my mess, by the way. Um, we, I have a bunch of videos. Um, if you want, I will leave the pin, like the board linked down below. 
of things I want to try for the art vlogs but there is something involving watercolor paper and like bubbles and I already have everything prepped you will see I thought it would be fun to try it out so I'm not going to bother like inserting the video I'm just gonna show you but this is by watercolors by Brie on Pinterest and I just think it's so cute uh, so I put a little bit of soap in the lid of an old mason jar uh, and I have a bottle ready but isn't that cute just painting with like little bubbles and I'm always ready to like try oh god I'm always ready to try something new and like take inspiration from different things so I'm gonna adjust the angle and we're gonna try this out I have a little paper on some parchment paper with some tape set up also I think I was debating on the colors I want to choose but I think I'm gonna go with this fuchsia color because I know it's a little more runny than the others Okay, so I think my downfall, like it looks okay, I guess. Uh, my downfall was I think I used too much liquid. I don't know, that girl used, like in the video, used a way bigger bowl than me. But my washi tape just kind of lifted. And I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I don't know here guys I feel like the smart thing to do would be to draw like some roses on here like my little signature roses I've been drawing but also I used so much water that the watercolor paper is like flaking off this did not go as planned I don't know this is this was a I don't know maybe I'll well, whoever orders the next uh, next piece, whoever orders something next from our shop, um, will get a version of this in your order. I will doll it up for you, I promise. So, um, I'm gonna wrap it up for today. I'm gonna go film some other gonna go film some other content. Um, We'll see you guys very soon. Don't forget to check out the $5 sale. It should be live. Uh, and maybe in the next video, I will show you the bookmarks because I am too tired to do that today. So I will see you then. Sayonara.